Okay, so one of the main components of this sculpture is this chip right here. These are these um, these are some kind of Japanese um, greeting card sound chip. Um, I've got these from electronics123.com. Okay, it has the software that it comes with, where you can actually write a sound file onto this chip. Um, it has a USB on it and you actually can plug this into your computer and you can use this and you can write a sound file onto this and it will play that sound file. So I have eight of these uh, chips right here inside here. One for each sound that this sculpture plays. Okay. Um, here are some of the sounds. These are uh, basically I just found all these on the web. Um, these are not necessarily from video games. These are just sounds that I found that I felt was appropriate for this sculpture and what I was trying to do with the sculpture. Okay. The other main component of the sculpture is um, this control circuit that I built. <clears throat> this right here is this tool called DIY Layout Creator. It lets you design a circuit yourself. Um, it's a perf board circuit. Um, the main component is these two uh, relays here. These are two dual coil latching relays. This is it right here. And this is basically an electri electrically controlled switch that you can switch on and off um, like on the fly. So this right here is the um, actual perforate circuit right here with the two relays on it. So the purpose of this circuit is it allows the machine to be in three different states. There's off, there's blinking, and then there's on state. So basically it's an off, right, off state right now. So when you put the coin in, it's now in the blinking state. And then when you hit this button, now it's in the on state, and now it will accept these, this, it will respond to the main, to the main sound buttons. So, I accomplished this by having the, the two different relays that could switch between the different states. And then you reset it over here, back to the off state. Um, what else can I talk about? Basically, everything else in here is just arcade parts from an arcade supply website. Um, it's just, you know, buttons and switches from arcade supply stores. It has a couple of these iPod speakers that I bought. Um, and then really, it's that's really it. It's just all wired together. It's pretty simple, actually. It's just... Um, switching the different lights on and off and and then each button has its own chip for each sound.